All right, we'll start out with a look at our flood warnings. Up and down the southern half of the Red River Valley, numerous rivers are exceeding their banks. The Red River from the Breckenridge Wapaton area right through Fargo is on its way up. And in Fargo, we are expecting a major crest over 30 feet. As we take a look at the Buffalo River through parts of Clay County, uh, as well as the south branch of the Buffalo River, warnings in those areas continue as well. In Norman County, that wild rice river through Hendrum now is expecting to go up. The Goose River, the Maple River causing problems at both Mapleton and Enderlin. And here we have the Cheyenne River as it goes through Kindred that is really on the rise as well. So all of these areas are going to see some moderate to, in some cases, major flooding over the next several days. Out to the west, we still have issues going on for the Pipe Stem Creek as well as the James River. South of Jamestown as it flows its way into uh, Lamore County. Here's a look to the northwest of our studios here in South Fargo at Valley News Live. And those are snow showers that are pushing their way towards us. So here in the next few minutes, the northern and western portions of our community will see a brief snow shower push its way through as far as conditions go. Southern Valley, we did get up to near 40 degrees today. That felt nice, but look at the gusts to 33 miles per hour. They're from the northwest. Now, this is going to pull cooler Canadian air into our uh, area, and we are seeing some snow showers. The coolest air in northwest Minnesota, where we have low 30s right now in Roseau and Thief River Falls, mid 30s for Grand Forks, 37 in Valley City, and still barely holding on to those low 40s down in our southern counties. Lakes Country, mid 30s as a rule for you at this hour. Here's the satellite and radar. We can see the precipitation fields moving briskly thanks to those northwest winds. So any snow showers you get won't amount to too much. They'll be quick hitting, but they could reduce visibilities in your area. I don't expect much in the way of accumulation. Some passing through the central and southern Red River Valley. Most of it, though, moving through northwest Minnesota as we head into our evening hours. And that's the stage that we've set. As we look at the big picture, we have some precipitation forming out in the southwestern United States with low pressure developing there, and that could impact our midweek weather into late week. We'll have more on that in a minute, but right now for this evening, if you are out and about, there's going to be a chance for these hit and miss snow squalls to blow through rather quickly, and by the time we get beyond sunset, the wind starts to taper off, the clouds start to break apart, and things should quiet down for most of us. Temperatures will be heading into the 20s as we head to bed tonight for a chilly evening, light winds, and we start out the morning with clear skies. Some areas of low clouds may be some patchy fog, but it should not be widespread. Temperatures very close to 20 degrees to head out on your Wednesday morning. By the midday hour, if you're heading out for lunch, it will be sunny for most. Maybe a few clouds drifting across the Lake of the Woods area, Roseau County. The rest of us seeing quiet conditions as temperatures struggle tomorrow to get into the mid-30s for many of us. There still will be a shot at a 40-degree day or two thanks to the sun and light wind. It will feel a lot nicer than this afternoon's weather. So here's a look at your planning forecast for Fargo. First thing in the morning, near 20 degrees, rising to near 40. Sun, light winds, and a pretty fair afternoon for us. Temperatures up north will be in the low to mid-30s. A chance at 40 south of Fargo, and we'll be really close to it here in the FM area, Valley City as well as Jamestown. Here is a shot. This one in the Twin Valley area, Highway 32 bridge there. A melting river to say the least. Here's a look at your planning forecast. All right, the warm-up begins on Thursday. Not too excited about 42. Let's get excited about near 50 Friday through Monday. We will have a chance of some rain, I think, primarily Saturday night into Sunday through the area. It does not look super heavy, but we're going to keep our eyes on it. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Sash. You bet.